Hi everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to perform date validation using JavaScript. So let's get started. Let's have basic HTML structure here. Link to a style sheet. Add the script file at the bottom, which is script.js. We need one div element here. Three input elements. Uh, placeholder for this will be enter month or do one thing make it mm id will be month i just copy and paste it two times this will be the date this will be the year it will be dd here it will be yy great now we need one button let's make it check we need one h1 element Let's make it result. We'll perform the date validation using moment.js library. So here I put CDN moment.js. Just copy this thing. And here, just add this link like this. Save it, go to style sheet. Select body element, text value will be center. Select a div element, display will be inline block. Select input element and the button, display will be inline block. Padding will be 10 pixel and 20 pixel. Select month and the date. Width will be three percent. Select year. Width will be ten percent. Open this file in the browser, and this is the output. Let's try to understand how to lecture you work. I will enter a month here, date here, and the year here. On the click on the check button, I want to validate this date format. If it is correct, I want to show true here. If it is not correct, I want to show false here. Let's go to JavaScript file. Select the button element. Let's make it BDN check. Select H1 element. Let's make it result. Select the month, let's make it input month. We'll select it by the ID. So ID is month here. Just copy and paste it two times. Make it date. This will be year. Same goes here, year. And here it will be date. Add a bit listener to the button. Let's just click. Need the handler function. Now we need month, year, and the date. So input month dot value will give us the value in the input element. We need a year. So input year dot value. We need date, so we put date dot value. Now we need to make use of moment JS here. So first of all, we need the format of the date. So it will be month, and then the actual date, and then year. And here we need to pass the format, exact same format, which is mm, dd, and four times y. At the end, you need to pass one more argument that is true to enable strict passing so that moment j should know that this format should match this format. Okay. Now there is a method is valid. This will give us true and false. I just save it, go to browser, 
now let's enter date here so month will be february date will be 28 year will be 2020 check so it is valid let's make it 30 so you know it should be invalid see let's make it 13 and make it 1 see you're still getting false let's make it 12 and it should be 0 1 okay so you're getting true so that's it i hope you got the point how it actually works see you in the next video have a nice day